Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can add a parallax effect on Wix. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now on Wix.com and this is how the homepage looks like. So right here in the top, you're going to find the option to create a new folder and then here you're going to find create a new site. Right here in the center, you're going to find the list that includes all of the sites that you have on Wix. So right now I'm going to go to the site, I'm going to add the effect to it, for example this one. Hover your mouse over the site and then click on select and edit site. Once you do that, just wait for your dashboard to load and this is how it will look like. Here in the left, you're going to find all of these sections and then here in the bottom you're going to find edit site. Click on edit site and then you will be redirected to this page right here. So just wait for the page to load. This is going to be the editor for your website. Here in the left, you're going to find all of these tools that will help you to customize your site. Here you're going to find add element, add section, pages and menus, site design, add apps, and so on. Click on add elements. And then once you do that right here, as you can see, guys, you're going to find all of these options. So right now I'm going to go to strip and then add a strip that you want to add the effect to. For example, I'm going to add this strip. And then before you add the animation to it, you can change the background if you want. Just click on change background. And then you can either choose an image or you can just choose this from here. You can also create it from AI. After you add your background, go ahead and click on background scroll effect. Once you do that, as you can see guys right here, you're going to find all of these scroll effects. You can find parallax, reveal, 3D, skew, close up and so on. So I'm going to choose parallax and then once you finish, just leave this window. And then if you want to save your changes, make sure to click on save here in the top. And if you want to go live, just click on publish. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.